Silver Spring is known for its grand trees and parks while also being close to the city. But I bet you didn't know that it's also famous for its long list of celebrities and scandals. Yeah, that's right. Hi, I'm Hannah with Arla Real Estate. Welcome back to another episode of Saving DMV, where we talk about all things real estate in the DMV with a focus on building wealth and rescuing dogs. So if you're into that, please hit subscribe and you'll be notified of all of my latest uh, videos coming down the pipe. Yes, it's true. Silver Spring might only have a population of about 80,000 people, but it has a long list of celebrities. And I bet you wonder what's in that Silver Spring. Are you curious to find out who they are? All right, let's jump in. Number one, Goldie Hawn. She went to Silver Spring International for middle school and she went to Blair High School, graduated in 63, and then went on to AU for college. So while she technically lived in Tacoma Park, she did spend a lot of time in downtown Silver Spring and talks about her fond memories of growing up in the area. I have to say, I think my favorite Goldie Hawn moment has gotta be from First Wives Club, where she says, I do have feelings. I'm an actress. I have all of the feelings. And the vodka goes everywhere. <laughs> she, if being an actress hadn't been successful for her, she actually wanted to um, run a dance school here in Maryland. Number two, comedian Louis Black. So he was raised in the Burnt Mills Knowles neighborhood of Silver Spring and went to Springbrook High School where he graduated in 66. He tells everyone that Silver Spring was just a lot of nothing when he lived here and that he tells people he grew up in Washington, D.C. because anyone from Silver Spring is a pussy. And if that shocked you, don't look up his work. I first heard about him from his Back in Black series on The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. His humor is dark and dry and he's not everyone's cup of tea, but I think he's hilarious. Number three, the Rachel Carson House in Colesville, Silver Spring. In 62, biologist, naturalist, and writer Rachel Carson wrote Silent Spring. She is credited with the founding of the modern environmental movement and also for what, how that led to the creation of the EPA in 1970. So Rachel Carson wrote in Silent Spring about the interconnectedness of all things in life and how pesticides have a consequence morally and physically on living things. And this specifically led to the ban on DDT, which is now listed as a known probable human carcinogen. Her work was pretty controversial at the time, and President Kennedy actually sent up a Presidential Scientific Advisory Committee to look into her work, and they verified her claims. So um, she actually died of cancer two years after she wrote this book. And uh, after that, her house where she wrote it was designated as a historic uh, landmark in Silver Spring. Number four, lawyer, speechwriter, actor, comedian, Ben Stein. He actually grew up in the Woodside Forest neighborhood of Silver Spring and went to Montgomery Hills Junior High School with Sylvester Stallone in the late 50s. He also went to Blair High School with, he was let's say one year ahead of Goldie Hawn and Carl Bernstein. Uh, Carl Bernstein is the Bernstein that was on Bob Woodward's team that did the reporting on the Watergate scandal, which of course we remember led to the uh, resignation of Richard Nixon as president. Ben Stein uh, came back to DC, he was a lawyer, then he became a speechwriter for presidents Nixon and Ford. In fact, some people hypothesized that he could be deep throat, which of course ended up not being true. He then decided to go on from there um, to become an actor. <laughs> he is famous for his role as the monotone teacher in Ferris Bueller's Day Off uh, with Matthew Broderick. So that uh, sort of personality, that monotone teacher was so successful he started playing that character in these Clear Eyes commercials, which I'm sure that uh, you all remember with his famous tagline of, wow, <laughs> I just can't even do it justice. Um, after that, he actually hosted a game show, uh, Win Ben Stein's Money, which um, oddly enough is how I first heard of him. Number five. All right, let's stay on politics just another minute longer with investigative reporter Carl Bernstein. He grew up in the Woodside Forest neighborhood of Silver Spring. In fact, he was next door neighbors to Ben Stein. 
He uh, owned a mid-century home. It backed off of Sligo Creek Park. He went to Montgomery Blair High School. And when he was there, you guessed it, he worked on the school newspaper. It was called the Silver Chips. And um, he ended up going on to University of Maryland. So go Terps. Okay, so I haven't even scratched the surface. There's a whole bunch more, like comedian Dave Chappelle, journalist Connie Chung, uh, writer-producer uh, David Simon, and obviously I mentioned Sylvester Stallone, who we didn't talk about yet. So, you know, if you want to go online, you can. there's lots of articles. Um, my fellow real estate agent Debbie Cook has written quite a few articles on the area. Bethesda Magazine has written quite a few, but I'd love to fill part two for you guys. So I hope this video has inspired you, shown you a little bit about the kinds of people that Silver Spring creates. It's such a wonderful place to live. In fact, this video was inspired by my friend and long-term Silver Spring resident, Jack Horner. So I wanna thank him for this video idea. Um, if you have any additional questions about Silver Spring, uh, if, about living here, real estate here, um, text me, call me, Doberman, bark it to me. Just get it on over. I'd be more than happy to talk to you. And please don't forget to subscribe. There's going to be more videos coming down the pipe. And of course, there's going to be part two of this video with more Silver Spring celebrities. So thanks for watching. I'm Hannah Clancy Thompson with Arla Real Estate.